Who are the people that are there today that hate God's people? They have no reason. It's Israel. Okay? Physical Israel. They hate God's people. And you know what's interesting about that? I don't, I don't want to get too sidetracked on this. In the book of 1 John, what is the great sin that he keeps talking about? Hating your brother. And I showed you when we were going through the book of 1 John how what was going on there, you had two groups of people that all came from the same place. You know, the Jews and the, the church, they came from the same place. It's two manner, two manner of people. But it was the Jews that re, you know they that did not follow the Old Testament that rejected Christ. And what did they do? They persecuted their brothers, didn't they? Their physical brothers, they persecuted them. And you know what the Bible said? Uh, you know, the Bible called them liars. Why? Because they denied that Jesus was the Christ. But understand, spiritually, physical Israel today is Edom. Okay? They're the ones that are persecuting the church. They are the ones that hate God's people. They are the ones that deny that Jesus is the Christ. They are, and they were the ones that you could say were our brothers. But they... They didn't like it when the prodigal came home, did they? They didn't like that. They didn't want to share in the inheritance. And so understand, I believe that these prophecies that we're seeing here are against the nation that most Baptists are worshiping today. But understand, it is them. They hate God's people. And we are God's people. And they hate us. Why? Because they're jealous. And who's the older brother in that situation? They're the older brother. If they'd have joined up, they'd have been fine. But what have they done? They've persecuted. And you know what else they've done? They've rejoiced at all those who have persecuted Christians. You think, you think they weren't there cheering Rome on when it was slaughtering the Christians? You know they were. Just like they were cheering Rome on when they were slaughtering Jesus. There they were. Yes, it was Rome that did it. But notice how the Jews were the ones pushing them to do it, putting the pressure on them to do it. They're the ones yelling, crucify him, crucify him. They were rejoicing over it. And therefore, they were partakers. And that's why it says, um, it, it, it basically accuses them here of being a partaker. Why? Because they're looking on it. They're enjoying it. They're rejoicing over it. Y'all realize too, when you look on certain things, when you cheer on when you encourage certain things you are a partaker that's why we don't bid these people godspeed okay that's why we don't bless jews if if they're bringing another teaching another gospel if they're denying that jesus is a christ we are not going to bid them godspeed the bible says if we do we're partakers of their evil deeds every one of these baptists that go over to israel and are getting their pictures with their arms around these Jewish rabbis are partakers of their evil deeds. Everybody thinks that verse in 2 John is for the Jehovah's Witnesses. The Jehovah's Witnesses weren't around back then. That was for the Jews because they were the ones denying that Jesus was the Christ. And all Christians who support Israel are partakers of their evil deeds. And just understand... It's only a matter of time and we will see Israel actively persecuting God's people and all those who look on that and rejoice and stand with them are partakers of their evil deeds. And you know what? I, 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 I'm telling you, the dispensational Baptist, when it all comes down, when the Jews are killing God's people, they'll be cheering them on. You think right now, if there was a conflict between Jews and Baptists, what side do you think the dispensationalists are going to be on? Oh, we can't put our hands against God's people. Yeah, but they're killing our people. Doesn't matter. <laughs> you know, we can't touch the Lord's anointed. Well, here's the problem. They're not the Lord's anointed. Okay? We are. We are the chosen generation, the royal priesthood, the holy nation, peculiar people. Not them. 